Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this training video is take a look at rest machining. Now, rest machining is where you take a large tool and you, for example, rough a pocket out, and then you come back with a smaller tool and you only want to machine the material that's left over. So to demonstrate that, I need to create a pocket. So I think I'm just going to quickly sketch one here on this part. This is looking good. We'll just come down to about here, come over there and back up to there. Let's put some fillets on here as well. I'm going to put in 130 thousandths fillets. So these are really small. We'll put one in every one of these corners. That looks good. Alright, so we're going to demonstrate the rest machining on this pocket that I've just sketched. Head over to the main toolbar underneath CAM. We're going to select stock tool paths. We'll come up to our pocketing operation. Now rest machining is only going to be available in the high speed uh, pocket operations. Let me demonstrate. We're going to pick manually going to grab that pocket. That looks good. And for a tool, let's go with a half inch diameter. We'll say this is turret position number one. And I'm happy with the depth of cut. We're just going to cut all the way down to minus 375 thousandths. Alright, so notice that under high speed uh, pocket, you do have a rest machining. Same with high speed clo or open, you, you have rest machining option. And then also the high speed center optimized tool path there's also a rest machine option. But under traditional, you will not find rest machining. So why don't we demonstrate this with a high speed closed. Now this is grayed out right now because there are no previous pocket operations that we can rest machine. Remember, rest machining is just going to remove the material that's left over from a previous pocket operation. So we're going to go with next here. I'm going to uh, ramp into our pocket. Uh, the step over looks fine. Why don't we take uh, rough depths of 175 thousandths. I'm going to leave 10 thousandths on the wall. All this looks good. I don't need to take an extra finish pass, so I'm going to leave this set to none. Alright, so there's the pocket operation. That looks good. Now for the rest machining. We're going to head back over to the main toolbar and select pocketing again. We're going to grab exactly the same pocket, so we'll pick manually. Just going to grab that. This time though, we're going to use an eighth inch. We'll use an eighth inch end mill. This is going to be turret position number two. I'm going to kick the RPM up a little bit. I'm going to say that looks good. Okay, the depth of cut looks fine. And again, we're going to use high speed close. But now under rest machine, if I click this button, it's going to list all the previous pocket operations. If we look over here within the NC manager, you can see that there's really only one pocket operation. So when I left click here, it's only going to display uh, the, that pocketing operation, number four there. So I'm going to select that. This instructs one CNC to rest machine this guy right here. So that looks good. Uh, that looks fine. I don't need to take depths of cut, so I'm going to uncheck that. I'm just going to take it in one pass. That looks fine. All that looks good. So we'll go ahead and execute that. And if I zoom in on this, you can see that we have just the rest machining. It's taken that eighth inch end mill and it's just machined the material that was left over. So why don't we simulate this? Let's head over here. I don't want to simulate all of these machining operations, so I'm going to disable these first three. Then we'll right click up here and select simulate. And this looks good. The uh, stock, I'm just going to grab this boundary right here. So we want pick a boundary. The top of my stock is going to be at Z0. The bottom of my stock is going to be at minus 0.5. So I'm just going to left click that boundary for my stock. And this is going really fast. Let's turn that, slow that down a little bit. All right, and it's still fast, so let's take it down even more. So here is the uh, larger tool. This is the half inch diameter end mill, and it's machining the pocket. And when that's finished, we're going to change tools to the uh, 1 8 end mill. That's just the final pass at the very bottom there. I'm going to get ready to slow this down just a little bit more when we get close to that finish pass. That's looking good. We're almost, you can see here, we're almost finished with that first uh, depth of cut there, or that last depth of cut using that first tool. All right, and when that's finished, we'll come in with the eighth inch end mill and just machine the areas that are left over. All right, so there's the eighth inch, and you can see it's machined just that corner there. Let's speed this up a little bit. Now it's coming over to do the next corner. Rotate that around. There we go. So it's just coming in and machining uh, the material that was left over from the previous previous cuts. 
All right. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.